Hello guys, welcome to another Jira administration tutorial from rcvacademy.com. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about creating a new permission scheme and then associating that permission scheme with any of the new projects in your organization. So before we uh, get started with permission scheme or uh, actually doing uh, the permission scheme or creating it from the scratch, we need to understand why uh, you need a new permission scheme or what exactly is a permission scheme so let's understand the permission scheme first uh, so I'll go to the um, uh, permission scheme so from the uh, cog wheel here just click on that in the drop down go to the issues and in the issues uh, you will see the permission scheme at the bottom so you have issue security scheme notification scheme and the permission schemes just click on that and here in this instance of Jira I have two permission scheme default permission scheme and then default software permission scheme so default software permission scheme is the permission scheme that is for my software projects because both of these are the software projects uh, or scrum projects so that is why the associated uh, both these projects have the default software scheme and in this is instance if you create any new project by default a default software scheme will be associated if it is a software project now what exactly is a scheme if you click on this scheme it basically uh, permission scheme it basically shows you what all project permissions are there and whom they are granted to so for example they are granted to the project role of administration who is having the application access to browse projects or manage sprints etc so all these permissions are defined in the permission scheme so anything uh, about the issue who is going to access what who will be able to comment attach uh, permission etc is defined in the permission scheme now there might be a requirement where this default permission scheme might not fulfill the needs of the new project that you are going to run in your organization and in those sort of scenarios you have or you might have to create a new permission scheme that is required to fulfill the needs of that particular project so for example in the new project you don't want create issues permission to any logged in users however in the new project what the requirement is you want the clone uh, sorry you want the create issues permission to only the users who are um, part of the member group now in those sort of scenarios what you need to do is you have to go and create a new permission scheme and edit this create issues permission uh, to associate it with only the members all right so that's the uh, real sort of scenarios wherein you will get to add a permission scheme now i'll go back to the permission scheme and to create a new permission scheme what you can do is you can simply copy the de this default permission scheme and then you can edit it so what i'll do is i'll just edit it and then i'll say uh, new software permission scheme and put the description there and update right so now i have a new software permission scheme which is not associated with any of the projects this scheme is exactly similar to what the default software scheme is because I have just copied from the default software scheme and now I can go ahead and update the permissions within here you can see that it is uh, it, it, it is it has some project permissions and then you have some issue permissions. so what we need to do is we need to remove any logged in user from create issues and then add a group uh, or add a role members to it so what we'll do is we'll just edit it and then in the create issue permission what we'll say is project role I'll say developers I don't have members group here so I'll just say developers anyone who is part of the project role developers will be able to create issues in this project or in this permission scheme 
which will be associated to any project so i'll click on grant so now you can see the create issues permission has been granted to the project role developers and now i'll remove the application access or any logged in user to create issues so i'll click on remove and then i'll remove any logged in users to create the issues right so now we have updated this new permission scheme that we have created and we have, what we have updated we have updated the create issues permission to the project role developers and any member who is who is um, uh, part of the developers role in the organization will be able to create issues any other member who is not part of the developers role won't be able to create issues now let's go back and associate this permission new permission scheme to any of any project because until unless it is associated with any of the project you won't be able to test this so i'll go to the permission schemes again and we'll go back to the project so rcv academy online portal and now we'll go to the project administration section now in the project administration section you have the permissions section here right and here you can see that which scheme is used at the moment for this project default software scheme is used and this default software scheme is used by true projects which we have seen in the administration section as well now what i'll do is for this project i'll associate this project with a different scheme all right so to do that sorry i'll go back and then walk you through again so to do the do that just go to the right hand side in the corner under the actions drop down click on use a different scheme for this project now here you can select the schemes so we have we'll select new software permission scheme and associate this project with the new software permission scheme now if you see scheme used by this project is new software permission scheme so now if we go back and try to create the issues so as i am logged in as the administrator so if i see my profile uh, i need to check whether i am part of the uh, part of the developers group or not so i'm the administrator uh, for this project and I am part of the administrator in these groups. I need to check whether I am also the member of the developers group. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, developer role. So I'll click on view project role. And here you can see that I am administrator and I'm also project um, member of the developers role. So I should be able to create the issue if I go back to the project and click on create and click on next test issue and click on create so yep I'm able to create that now if I log in with someone who is not member of the developers group so let's see who doesn't have the access to developers uh, role so he's not uh, allocated to the role of developers so we'll go to the groups and sorry we'll go to the roles project roles and now in this role in the developer role we'll see who all are the members here so project role members and see who are those so Jay Guyan and I am the member so apart from us if you log in as anyone else they shouldn't be allowed to create the issues in this particular project so if I try to log in as new user or any other user apart from Jay Guyan and Manish I shouldn't be allowed to create the issues in the project are CV Academy online portal so if I, I'll try to log off um, I'll go to user management and try to find out the user that I'll be using 
so I'll maybe just use uh, B-Sync and then try to create issues as B-Sync so I've logged off login as B-Sync and so once I'm logged in I still see the create button uh, and let's try to click on the create button and see uh, whether I'm able to create the issue so if you can see the project where this user is allowed to create the issue is RCB Academy and no other project is listed here right so that means that I cannot create issue in the project RCB Academy online portal because there are two projects so if I click on create it by default chooses the project uh, as RCV Academy because this user has access to RCV Academy project as well however create user permission is uh, or create issue permission for this user is not available to RCV Academy online project now if we disable the access or create issue permission for both the projects this button create button itself won't be available for this user so let's try to do it what we'll do is we'll associate the same permission scheme to both the projects and then log in as bsync and we'll be able to see that no create uh, button will be available here because bsync won't be having access to create issue permission so i'm logging off as bsync and i log in again as the administrator and once I'm logged in as administrator I'll go to the project RCV Academy and in the project administration permission what I'll do is I'll change this scheme to the new scheme so I'll go to the permission scheme and use a different scheme and I'll associate the new permission scheme that I created uh, with the new pro with both the projects right so now both the projects RCV Academy RCV Academy online portal are using the same scheme that means um, any user who is member of developer group will be able to create the issue uh, all other users won't be able to create the issue in any of these two projects so I will log off and log in as bsync again and now you can see there is no create option available at all for bsync however if i log off and log in as a person who is member of the developer I believe it was B Guyan. Let me log in as myself first because I was also a member of the developer group and I have the access to create the issues in both the projects, right? So I have access to create an uh, issue in RCV Academy or in RCV Academy online portal. I can create issue in both of those. So that's pretty much all about. Um, creating a new permission scheme then updating the permission scheme uh, and then how you can associate a new permission scheme to different projects and uh, edit the permission scheme to ensure that it meets the requirement of the project that is defined within your organization hope you like the video please do share and subscribe to get more updates and uh, informative videos like this thank you for watching